Okay, this is a uh, 2011 Equinox. Um, I was having trouble. The rear, passenger side rear tire, uh, the camber was way off all of a sudden. Um, the top of the tire was leaning in a whole lot more than it should. And I was noticing, I just put new tires on and I was noticing um, increased wear. I'll show you on the inside back tire that I've already got pulled off. And I'm going to show you how to quickly adjust the camber on your tire, on your back wheel, um, as quickly as, or as real easy. I'm going to show you just a profile of the tire, and you can't tell a whole lot. You can tell how this edge is rounded off a lot more already than this edge. And um, this tire only has about uh, 2,000 miles on it. And it has really worn off that inside edge. You can see how it's really leaning compared to that one. And I'll turn my camera sideways so you can really tell how that inside edge was wearing. And so now, on the Equinox, 2011 Equinox, sorry, I'm putting my tire back away so I don't full up fall. Um, oh, sorry, dropped my phone. Um, there's an easy way to uh, adjust the camber on these vehicles. This is a two-wheel, front-wheel drive vehicle. Um, the all-wheel drive adjusts the same. Um, it's an A-arm system without the A-arm on the top. The A-arm's on the bottom. So here's the A-arm down here. I don't know if you can see my hand, but this is the bottom of the A-arm right here. Here's your stabilizer bar coming back right here. Um, your shock attaches here. This is not a strut. It's only a shock. Uh, so you don't have any adjustment on the shock itself. But what you do have is where this top stabilizer arm right here attaches. To the wheel, it's not adjustable. But up here, this bolt right up here that you can see me pointing to is adjustable. Um, you loosen up the bolt on this side. So to get a 21 millimeter on that hex head right there and loosen that bolt up. And if you can tell, this nut is not square. And I'm going to move my camera around so you can see that. That is not, that nut is not square on that on those threads. And so, um, I don't know if you can kind of tell there, but it's real close to this edge and it's a long ways away from that edge. So it's an oblong nut, it's not a centered nut. And so if you spin that nut, that adjusts the camber in and out on this top piece, this top stabilizer. And that's how you quickly adjust the uh, camber on a 2011 Equinox rear axle.